Oh. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Darby Rollins here with Zachariah Stratford. Hello, hello. Uh, we're having uh, some technical issues with my camera for uh, the streaming platform. So, Your face made for radio. <laughs> there you <Zach>. go. <laughs> Now let's, uh, we're hopping on today to, to kind of showcase uh, or play around with really a new tool that Conversion AI just came out with called the uh, the Creative Story Template. Um, that kind of came out with this, uh, this template after sticking Jarvis in a room all weekend with um, some very famous fiction writers to see uh, if it could download, you know, some more um, fiction style storytelling tactics that we could build off of. So. Um, this is really like this is literally like my first time really running through the tool yeah and so i uh, kind of want to just take it as we go and, and see how we might build a story a fiction story um using conversion ai so uh um Zachary, give yeah. me a topic to, to start playing with let's see well, what we can come up with well you know me i'm a long time twilight fan so why don't we do um <laughs> <laughs> why don't we play around with vampires Vampires, all right. Uh, vampires um, doing what? What's the plot here? Try, um, try vampires uh, in the White House. Let's see if we can get through. Vampires take over the White House. Uh, let's see. Maybe funny. Stupid. Yeah, I like silly or funny would be great. Let's do funny. Let's see what let's do we it. Get here. Let's see what we've got here. So I mean, I love this for for our authors. It's just amazing that uh, that especially your fiction writers that are going to be on the book patch um, or anywhere else, or even in our seven day challenge. Now, I think this is just wonderful, mm -hmm. really cool, fun tool. So yeah, let's see. What we got. Right, it was supposed to be a normal day at the White House with the president, his wife, and their two kids. It had been tough how bad it was out there in America, but we woke up and said to find their Instead of their own family being the White House vampires and taking over and ordering everyone around like servants. Okay, let's let's uh, that's that's one. Again. Funny. Let's let's hit the output a couple times and see what we come up with. Let me see. I want I want to see how we can build on this as well. Um, so I say, and I'm prepared for what happened next. The noise coming from outside is probably just that dogging in quickly. Was beating in fear. Wow! To break into your house, either the man got up with caution, making sure to keep one hand firmly rested on the gun. You know, most nowadays, you can be too careful. Okay, so that one looks like it cut off a little bit, but I, I think it's—I mean—that's amazing that you know you can enter that and it gives you a sort of start right yeah so how how might, how might we use this to like combine some of these together or maybe maybe what we do is input i don't know if this will be too much so that's less than 400 let's see where this let's see if it continues the plot here okay. President's vampire attack, then all of America will be in trouble, the president said as he woke up from his nightmare. Maybe they just want to take over for a day or two and show us how easy our lives are when we're not fighting for them. She considered it for a minute before nodding her head in agreement. They both slipped out of bed and snuck into their children's rooms before waking them up quietly so they wouldn't wake their grandparents who were staying with them while on vacation from Russia. Okay. It took some convincing to get them <laughs> to go downstairs without. <laughs> okay. So, so without, so interesting. So I think that, you know, maybe just like if you're going the fiction route here, you know, without a real plot in mind other than vampires taking over the White House. Could could we try? I wanna see if it's if it's maybe better with just like a single sentence. Um, can we try another topic? Let's yeah. do, um, I don't know, um, beavers in Texas or beaver, beavers, I don't know, Let's, uh, would, help me out here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you got me, you got me stuck on this vampires taking over the White House, White House train. Uh, let me see. Uni unicorns in the CIA, maybe. Unicorns in the CIA. Unicorns in the CIA. I wonder if we, if it, 
if we also could play around with, you know, going more like the children's route, mm -hmm. right? So like if we're, so we had fiction writers writing a children's story, the original bearer of her name, the problem, Darby, can you make that bigger? I'll read it out. Yeah, yeah. she was born, raised in a town called Sabrina. The original bearer of her name. The problem with that is everyone else in Sabrina had her same name. It got so bad that she refused to even say it in public for fear someone would think they were talking to the wrong person. A few years ago, she moved to Washington, D.C., where she has been able to live under the radar as far as names go until now. When the word leaked out about her new job at the CIA, there was no avoiding it. She'd been attending orientation anytime soon and telling them her full first and middle names, Abigail Abigail, Abby, Car what? <laughs> Carlin, <Luke. laughs> I don't know. I'm not buying that one. That has nothing to do with unicorns. And right. Very little to do with the CIA. I wonder if it's if we make the story more believable, if that would help, right? Inside of the sentence. Yeah, let's uh let's do Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, the story of Rich Rock. He had one dollar and a dream, which was a score, a deal on Shark Tank with Mark Cuban. Rich Rock packed up his suitcase full of money in different denominations and set off for LAX. It took him two days to get there by boat because he stopped at every country along the way to make sure they knew about his business venture. He told them that if they invested in it, they would become rich rock stars like him. After arriving at LAX, Rich Rock got right in line outside the airport when suddenly an officer came out and said, Sir, are you aware that it is illegal to transport currency across state lines? Rich Rock replied smugly. Okay. That's, I think maybe that's a little better if we give it more context. Yeah. So it's, it's like the, the kind of like the intro to a whole story, right? Right. Um, like, so now how might we take, let me see, sir. Let's see, let's see how this looks. If we just take like the last sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> Rich Rock will provide smugly. Rich Rock, a small crook with big time ambitions. He liked to think of himself as a worldly man, but his travel has been limited. He hit the backseat of his car. Today was different. Today, Rich Rock smugness would be put to the test if you not believe how it seems. I said, it's kind of diverting here. It's taking right. a different route than I would expect it at, but like, Got it. It's it's almost um, you're inserting a piece of the story and it's giving you the beginning, right? The or the intro. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the intro to paragraph. It would be it'd be fun to do like let the Jarvis start with the creative story and then obviously you just kind of fill in fill in after um, after the fact. Yeah. So this. Seems, go ahead. Well, I think they, like if this is like a like if you're writing like short stories, right? That are just you're looking for just like. Like maybe like the adventures of this person or that person, or you know, it's you're just looking for a different plot to kind of travel down. Um, right. You know, I could see this not necessarily. I don't know. I mean, I, I have never written a novel, so you know, I know there's a lot of plot lines and characters and things that develop inside of that. Right. Um, I mean, ag again, this it just shows how great this tool is for getting. You know, it's helping people with ideas. Um, yeah. So let me see. Like, let's take like the last year. It's like, okay, Rich Rock, a small time crook. This is going to be an unforgettable trip. He decided it's time to take a drive. He's caught, got in his car. So it's taking kind of the same thing there. Mm -hmm. Brad, he was going to be an unforgettable trip because he took the day off work so he could just enjoy himself. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's very much. It's it's taking stuff that I mean it's obviously it's not like a um, it's not trying to pull facts necessarily like it's mm -hmm. definitely making a story up. 
Um, it's just going to be your job as the conductor of the tool here to kind of expand on things and kind of you know direct the story as you get inspired and see see fit. Absolutely. That's cool. That's great. I think um, I'm excited to get this out to our authors. I think they'll really um, enjoy it. So, um, yeah. and this tool is this tool is pretty cool. Yeah. So, like, like a lot of the the things that I know we've been we've been coming up against, you know, when it comes to just getting a, a book out or a story in general, is like that writer's block, right? So, if you've got an idea for, you know, something, so for anything, right? Um, this is pretty neat. Um, you know, like, especially for like opening up the phase of things. It's interesting. Unicorn, no idea. After arriving in LA, let's see if we just, so I wonder if this would work similar to like the sentence expander. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you have to scroll up? Yeah. yeah. Waiting in line for 45 minutes. And by the time he reached the front of the line, it was well past. Sir, are you aware there's a transparency across the table? I'm just here on vacation. I don't know. I'm just making this up. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Rock is on a vacation to Millionaireville. Okay. Rich, oh, so yeah, I think the plot, the short of the plot is like, yeah. just let it kind of go from there. Rich Rock right. is on a vacation to Millionaireville. He went to his bed in his lavish hotel suite, woke up next morning with three zeros added to his bank account balance overnight, thanks to an overnight deposit of $300 million from a Russian investor who just came into some money and wanted to share it around. Well, that's nice of him. I, yeah. I'm Rich Rock was so yeah. happy. He gave him. He gave everyone a tip, 1,000 each for maids, bellboy, valet, and all those folks who made millionaires. Hey, well, that's a nice, what a nice guy, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, I mean, I really like how it's stuck inside of this, this, you know, the, the whole theme, millionaire, we kind of picked up on millionaire veil. Vale. He was going there. And so he even tipped the maids a thousand dollars. That's amazing. Shasha, so he left a tip for the maids, bellboy, valet, all the folks who make millionaires feel at home. I was glad that they all seemed happy with their penny pinching tips. That one is a little, little off. Little, I think, I off. think the shorter, <clears throat> the shorter, the better for what we put into the plot. Um, yeah. What I'm seeing. Yeah. So if it's a little bit shorter. It's kind of like the sentence expander, the content improver, where it's like taking a little bit and then just expanding on it and wrapping around. So Rich Top was so happy he gave everyone a tip. Oh yeah, try you here. Have fun. Was on a cruise. His wife is feeling generous. Everyone knows my tip. All appreciative of. Oh yeah, Rich Rock. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Rich Rock. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the twenty dollar uh, bill. I'll take that. Having fun. Asked another guy wearing a Hawaiian shirt with sunglasses, in spite of the fact that it wasn't sunny at all outside. Who then walked away without getting anything from Rich Rock. People started coming up to Rich Rock. More often because they saw how much money he had given out so far and wanted some for themselves too. Just before dinner time, though, someone stopped him in his tracks after. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks before. So, Rich Rock, so the plot of this next intro would be that Rich Rock is giving out millions before breakfast. But Rich Rock was a pro when you're five. <laughs> he was a badass at five. 
His day started within with an hour of training on his one man space station before breakfast, and he had already given away millions of dollars in charitable donations by the time they brought him his oatmeal. He also managed wow. to read four books for fun while eating cereal with milk. <laughs> After that, he went to work where he invested nine new products. Invented, invented invented nine new products and made more money than anyone else in the world combined. When lunchtime rolled around, Rich Rock spared no expense in buying one million sandwiches for people who didn't have much food or jobs, so everyone would have enough food for dinner too. It was now almost dinner time, and Rich Rock had been. <laughs> so, so I like that one the best. I think that's my favorite. So I want to see, like, okay, let's say, like, we like this one the best. Rich Rock is just a little kid that's just balling out, inventing stuff, and reading books, and giving out millions of dollars before breakfast. Mm -hmm. Say so it was now almost. So it's because you can add on to here as well. And so like, I'm wondering if we could just kind of use this as like the starting point. Right. You know, it was one output. So it, how would you, it'd be interesting to play around with how we, how you stack, right. And add more yeah. and, and keep in, keep them along, keep Jarvis in the same storyline. Right? Yeah. So like, obviously you could have like a separate doc here and keep it rolling, but yeah, that that would, yeah. Let's say free money. Rich Rock throws hundreds of like confetti. There's now almost dinner time, and Rich Rock had been. So we could even like, even like take this out, right? Let me see, like this. If you copied this and then came up here and did that, and so now it's it's hard to sound like a badass when you're five, but Rich Rock was a pro at it. His day started off here, you know, when lunch time rolled around, it's for no expense. Rich Rock, a famous millionaire, because he's like five-year-old millionaire. Famous. All right. Yep, I like it. A five-year-old millionaire arrives with a big grin at his face and sits down to eat. He pulls out his pocket too. <laughs> starts giving it away. A man who'd been waiting for a meal for hours, throwing hundreds of thousands of daily confetti to people at the table, looking around awkwardly, not sure what to do. Suddenly, yell, free money began sprinting towards him, knocking over chairs on the way. Within seconds, everyone was running after him to remaining. Remaining Rich Rock's piles of cash. Uh, no one there to claim them. What happened to everyone? Uh, yeah, where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I could see, like, walk, working through this and taking things and just keeping the, like, building on top of it. Right. So that one doesn't make as much sense, which I wouldn't expect it to because it's not reading that. It'd be nice to see if we could have like an example story down here that it would follow along with. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But, I mean, either way, I mean, like just for like uh, just getting your like creativity flow and like, hey, let me just come up with a unique story around an idea I have. Um, right. it's a great way to just get started. I never would have thought of any of this. I think this is great for, I mean, I'm, I'm really going towards children's books with this creative story, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think you could do a lot with that or just, I mean, any fiction really, but I think maybe the tone of voice we were playing around with lends itself more towards, um, children, right? I think so. But I think, we'll, yeah, let's keep, let's keep playing with this, but, uh, We'll uh, you know, throw this in the group, and yeah. uh, I want to see what everyone else kind of comes up with, and see see what like cool fiction stories we can we can can have come from this. Absolutely, Jarvis's Jarvis's mastermind. Very cool. Let's cool. let's see it. All right. All right.